Hi, I'm uh, Mr. Ian Hunt. I'm a consultant thoracic surgeon at St. George's Hospital uh, in Tooting and a consultant surgeon here at Spire St. Anthony's Hospital in Cheam. I offer, using my colleagues from the US, uh, a pectus canonatum clinic which runs at St. Anthony's Hospital here in Cheam uh, four times a year. Pectus deformities involve either a pigeon chest where the chest wall is deformed and pushes forward or it can be sunken in, what used to be called funnel chest. It looked like I was, I was pretty much different from everyone else in my chest. You know, like I was less of a person because of it. You know, everyone's taking their shirts off, getting tans, things like that. When I had to do it, it was quite embarrassing. Like I tried to hide it, leaning over it. Obviously I wanted to see if there was some treatment for it, but most of the things were just surgery, which I didn't want to go through. Surgery is invasive. So we use this bracing technique to allow us to correct the chest wall. The brace allows uh, the deformity to be remodelled after we've reduced the deformity and gives the patient essentially a normal looking chest. This is new to the United Kingdom in England, but I've actually done this since 1996 and we've honed it and, and refined the brace to a very lightweight, comfortable uh, device for the kids to wear. It involves giving the patient uh, gas and air, so it requires a, a, an anaesthetic type procedure. Once we're happy that we've mobilised the deformity and flattened the deformity to some extent, we then create a custom-made brace around their particular type of deformity. The brace will hold the deformity and push it back into place and hold it there. The child will then grow around the brace along with some exercise and strengthening and give us that nice final result of a natural young man's or young lady's chest. After, like, after the first month, I think you start getting over that barrier where if you don't really notice it as much. So it gets more comfortable and you get more used to it. Uh, and then we usually arrange the patients if you come back to see us in around three to four months after the first bracing. How does it feel? Uh, yeah, it's quite comfortable. You don't really notice it on most of the time. But Are you able to do what you want to do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it doesn't stop us from doing it. And play sports? Yeah, sports is okay. I play sports all the time. And how do you feel about your pectus now? Much better, like my chest just feels much better when the brace is off. Feels normal? Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Let's have a look at the positioning. The positioning is really good. This is pretty much like the best route for treating it because like, it does take a while over a long period, which is probably the, one of the downsides, but it's much worth it in the end because you're not left with any scars or anything like that. There's nothing better than seeing a shy, somewhat awkward, introverted teenager in front of me when they first arrive, and then a year later, they come back to me and they're often completely different individuals. They dress differently, they look differently, they come into the room with a great deal of confidence, their head is held high, uh, you assess them, their chest looks essentially normal. And there's, there's nothing greater to see that in terms of the pleasure it gives me that you've managed to help a, uh, a patient in a, uh, at a formative time in their lives which then allow them to grow into confident young adults. We are expecting to increase the number of clinics as the demand is going up massively over the last few months and I'm sure we'll be running more, more regular clinics over the next few years. I'll be looking forward to going down the beach and taking off my shirt and pretty much not looking worse. I'll be, look, I'll be looking way better. It's massively improved like if when you take the brace off you'll be like amazed because it's just it looks like just a normal chest now compared to what it was.